Well, our second planting of uh, whole beans has come up with my little cloches. The rabbits haven't eaten them. We're getting a little bit of Japanese beetle damage on my grapevines over there. So we hung this. This is last year's trap. If you keep them in a uh, gallon uh, plastic Ziploc bag, uh, the pheromone scent doesn't wear out and you can hang it up and we've caught those since uh, yesterday morning off of last year's trap. I have a new one to put out. This little lone squash plant that we thought was here uh, showed it to you a little bit back is actually a cucumber plant and it has cukes on it and I believe this is my favorite Calypso which is a hybrid and so I just put a little bamboo pole in there and I will probably get a dozen or more off of it, so I'm not going to dig it up and disturb it since it has fruit on it. These tomatoes are a week behind the others. And these are Romas and Rutgers. And they are not quite up to my waist. And these are the four that we planted out of a six pack. You can see they're a little bit smaller. These are the tiniest little pepper plants I think I've ever put out. They're slowly starting to grow. They didn't get too damaged by all the rain we've got. That's got uh, peppers on it. This one had a ton of flowers the other day. But they're still small. And you can see the bottom leaves uh, are pale. More than likely all my fertilizer, most of it's leached out of the soil from all the rain. And I'm going to have to side dress this with some uh, more 10 10 10. And the squash are finally starting to grow. But they, uh, these plants are at least three weeks old. Could be a month. They're puny. I'm actually getting some powdery mildew on that leaf. But as you can see, it has been sunny, but today it's cloudy and it uh, sprinkled and rained all last night. <laughs> 